Doing keyword research is an important step in your process of publishing your video. Many people find it confusing, but I will show you how to do it the right way. Welcome back to the YouTube for Gamers playlist. I'm Yellow with the Footy Nerd, and without wasting any more of your precious time, let's jump into it. For doing keyword research, we will be using TubeBuddy. It's an amazing tool for YouTubers and it has a bunch of free features, including Keyword Explorer. You can download it using the link on top of my description. And then let's go. Let's come up with a fictional video about a game that everyone will know. And then let's do the keyword research for that video. Let's say you're playing League of Legends and you're a Katarina main. You make nice plays, you're capable of filling 10 minutes of video without plays, but you want to grow your channel first, so then people will be watching your purely entertainment videos later. Since you're a Katarina main, at least in this example, it's a perfect opportunity to make educational Katarina videos to bring people in. So let's do the research for an educational Katarina video. If you have installed TubeBuddy, an icon will appear on the top right of your YouTube window and then after clicking on it, you can open the Keyword Explorer tool. Once you're here, you will see a lot of information and instead of giving you a quick overview, I will just explain the elements while we are researching. The bar on top is to enter a keyword phrase to analyze. Let me give you an example of a very bad tag. Let's choose Tyler1 as a tag to research. The score which TubeBuddy is giving us is based on the three bars you see below. It takes into account how much the entered phrase is being searched and how many people are optimizing their video for this phrase. Obviously 9% is really bad and you want to aim for at least 50%, preferably 60 or higher if you can. And let me explain you why the score is so low after this. Right here on top you can see two tabs weighted and unweighted. If you have one of TubeBuddy's premium plans you can see your weighted score and this will show you a score that's specific to your own channel. But to be honest, the score isn't something I focus on too much, mostly I focus on the separate scores below and find out myself whether this will be a good tag to focus or not. This being said, TubeBuddy is definitely not wrong giving this tag such a low score. First of all, you see that the search volume is very high, almost completely to the right. You can also see this on the bottom because there the number of monthly searches shows 1.7 million. There is no way you are going to rank on the first page for a search term like this. The second score is the competition score and this represents your chance of beating the competition for this specific keyword. And as you can see, and as we expected, there is no chance you are beating the competition for the tag Tyler1. Then the last score is the optimization strength and this shows how well the videos of your competition are optimized for this certain tag. For example, if someone has Tyler1 in his title, in his description and in his tags, that means that the video is well optimized for the search phrase Tyler1. Of course, this doesn't mean that the person will rank on top when someone searches for Tyler1. Because as we can see, Tyler1 is a tag that is being optimized for in a lot of videos. So that means that any video that's stronger than yours or any channel that has more power than yours will rank above you for this tag. If you see something like this, you're better off trying to find another tag that has much less competition. And this is the essence of YouTube SEO. It's very important that you understand this. Your goal is to try and find a tag that is being searched by people, but at the same time is not used a lot as a main keyword phrase by other videos. So let's look for another keyword phrase, Katarina Guide for Beginners. As we can see, this is being searched by people because it's almost in the yellow, but we see that there is not a lot of competition. Not many people are using this exact keyword phrase as their main keyword because the optimization strength is in the green. And as a result of this, TubeBuddy will tell us that we have a good chance of beating the competition and rank with our video. Now this is an opportunity because now we can use this exact tag in our title, description and our tags. And that way when people search for this exact phrase, we have a pretty big chance of showing up in the search results for that tag. 
Now before I show you how to optimize your video exactly for this tag, let me say this. Having the right tags will give you a pretty big chance of ranking on top for that tag, but that's only one part. Once you're on top for a moment, YouTube will start to analyze how well your video is performing to determine if it can stay on top of the rankings or not. To understand how YouTube evaluates and ranks your videos, go watch my YouTube algorithm explanation in the YouTube for Gamers playlist. Once you did find your main keyword phrase, it's time to show you how to implement it. First of all, you want to make sure you use the full keyword phrase in your title description and tags. Let's take our phrase Katerina guide for beginners and in the title you should then put it in the beginning. So let's make this Katerina guide for beginners and then something to hook the viewer like win your lane every time. This title would make people click. And a quick pro tip is that YouTube doesn't read these vertical bars. So in theory our title could be Katerina early game and then guide to winning your lane. YouTube would still read Katerina early game guide as one keyword phrase because it skips the vertical bars. So get creative with your title. And then we need to use that exact keyword phrase in our description and preferably together with some similar terms. For example, today I decided to make a Katerina guide for beginners because a lot of people struggle with winning lane as Katerina. Boom, two important keyword phrases without sounding like you're just spamming search terms. You can write some more and use keywords that are related to your video like early game, champion guide, early game strategy, etc. But make sure it's a fluent text which people can read. And definitely do not do keyword stuffing, which is just spamming 20 keywords to try and rank for all of them. The algorithm will detect it, detect it as spam, and it will hurt your video. And then after that it's time for our tags. As your first tag, you should put your main keyword, so Katerina guide for beginners. Then you should think about similar search phrases people could use to search for this exact video. TubeBuddy can help you a lot when doing this because it shows you what people are typing in the search bar. So let me show you. When I type Katerina guide, you see that there are other search phrases that are popping up. And then if there aren't a lot, like in this case, you can just type one extra letter like A or B or C and a lot of different search phrases will be coming up. And if those search phrases are related directly to your video, then you should put them in your tags. Of course, if you have a guide about the early game as Katerina, you should not use a phrase like how to beat Z with Katerina, because someone who is searching how to beat Z with Katerina will not keep watching your video if he sees that your video is not about that. So make sure all the tags you're using are directly related to your video. So then you just search for similar phrases till you reach the maximum amount of characters allowed, which is 500. And then when you have one of the premium plans of TubeBuddy, you can see a big list of related keywords and a ranking for each of them. You don't need this, but it's super helpful and it shows you keywords which you wouldn't have thought of yourself. Now the Keyword Explorer is the most important free feature of TubeBuddy, but there are a lot of extra features. I will make a video that goes over all all of them and when it's ready I will link it there in the cards. Now once you did your keyword research and you publish your video, YouTube will give your video a chance. It will rank on the first page for a short period of time and then YouTube will analyze whether your video is performing well or not. And that's why the next step for you is to go to my YouTube algorithm guide because in that guide in the YouTube for Gamers playlist I explain you how the YouTube algorithm ranks your video and how it decides if it's a well performing video or not. I'll see you in there.